and welcome back to my channel it's lovely to have you back thank you for watching today i have a very 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 special video that i'm really excited to film it's one i haven't done in a long time and it's going to be a designer shoe unboxing now i haven't done one of these since my louis vuitton boots which i think was <clears throat> I can never remember if I got them last year or the year before, but if so, it's like either a year or a year and a half ago. So these are my first first pair of designer shoes since my Louis Vuitton boots. So I'm very excited to show them to you. Now, um, first of all, I didn't buy these shoes at full price and I didn't even buy them from the designer themselves. I actually got them in TK Maxx, but I will get into that later. And let's get into showing you the shoes. Okay, so the shoes that I purchased are shoes that I've wanted for such a long time. In fact, I've wanted these since they came out. Um, and I couldn't believe it when I went into TK Maxx in Guildford and actually found the pair of shoes that I've been looking for for so, so long. And the shoes are the Stella McCartney Oxford Platform Brogues. Now, I know these are going to be a bit of a Marmite item. Um, I've got both of them to show you here, but I'm just going to use one to demonstrate. Um, I know these are going to be a Marmite item. I know not everybody's going to like these. They are a little bit out there, but I have loved these shoes for such a long time. Um, I think they're just really, really quirky and really cool. They're obviously like a brogue kind of style with this amazing... Um, real wood um, rubber platform which I just think adds such a quirky quirky edge. So these shoes are from Stella McCartney. Um, if you haven't heard of Stella McCartney she's a really really big designer. She's done lots and lots of things. She does the um, bags with like the chains around the edges if you've ever seen them um, and a lot of her stuff I think actually I think all of her stuff is vegan so she never uses real leather and everything that she uses is from a state sustainable resource. So Although these look like real leather and they feel like real leather, they're actually Nappa. And um, this is actual real wood from a sustainable source and this is real rubber from a sustainable source. So everything in this shoe and everything that she makes is um, really, really good if you're not into animal cruelty or if you don't like to buy things that are made of leather, then Stella McCartney is probably going to be a really good designer for you. Um, but I have wanted these shoes for so long. I actually first saw them on, um, I think it was on Kendall Jenner for like about four years ago maybe. They've been out for quite a while. They're one of her statement shoes that she designs. Um, and I'm pretty sure I saw them on Kendall Jenner and I was like, oh my gosh, those shoes are amazing. Um, they retail, I've actually got the website up here and I will link everything down in the description box. So on the website they are called the Black Elise Shoes, but they're also known as the Oxford Brogues. And they retail on the website at the moment for £585 for the plain black ones. Now they do come in quite a few styles. They come in a sandal style with like a little strap over the toe. They come in this style with like a little bit cut out here, which is quite interesting. And then they come in this black, this in white and also um, both black and white with stars all over and they do a nude with stars all over as well. Um, but I just picked up the plain pair because that's what they had in TK Maxx. So yeah, on to TK Maxx. Um, I do like TK Maxx. I very, very rarely get to go in there. There is one in Brighton and there's actually one back home where I live as well. But I very rarely get to go in there. But my favourite thing about TK Maxx, because normally... I find it quite hard to shop in there for clothes because everything's just kind of mushed together and that's not really like how I like to shop but what I do like about TK Maxx is their shoes. I always find a really really good pair of designer shoes in TK Maxx. I once found a pair of Christian Dior heels. I didn't end up buying them but it was pretty amazing that I found those and obviously now I've found these too and they do always tend to stock really really good designer shoes. You do have to have a little bit of a look around for like a little gem. But obviously you can find it in there if you look hard enough. And also a top tip is to always go to the gold section. It's called the gold label section. And um, that's the section where they have all the top designers like uh, Dolce & Gabbana, Christian Dior, Louis Vuitton. Um, all designers like that who you know are a bit more higher end than some of the other designers they do like Ted Baker and um, just 
more medium designers which i'm not really into but um yeah that's a top tip always go to the gold label section because that's where you find like the best gems so onto the shoes again these um were originally was it 585 yeah, 585 on the Stella McCartney website at the moment. Um, these are brand new. Although they're in TK Maxx, they're obviously brand new. These are just put in there because a boutique can sell these ones or um, for whatever reason, really. There's nothing wrong with them. They're perfectly fine. But they just would have got sent to TK Maxx for whatever reason. So these were originally £250 in TK Maxx. So you were already getting quite a big saving. But... I actually ended up getting these for 180 because this pair were marked up for 250 pounds and there was another pair the exact same um with the same barcode and everything marked up at 180 and I realized the other pair were 180 because they had a very very small scuff on the wood now I took this pair down to the checkout and I also took the other pair down, hoping that the checkout guy would not realise that the other ones were um, tagged at 180 because of the scratch. And luckily he didn't. And I said to him, oh, these are marked differently, but I want them for 180 because this other pair is marked up as 180. And he was like, oh yeah, that's fine. Like, they've obviously been marked up wrong. So I think I got away with that one. I mean, I'm guessing that's why they were marked up less, but yeah. So I managed to get the unscuffed ones for £180, which I was really, really happy about. So I made quite a big saving. Obviously, £180 is still a lot of money, but it's not £585. So I made a really, really big saving on these. I'm super, super excited to style these. I think mainly what I've been styling with them recently is my checked trousers from Urban Outfitters. They look awesome with that. They also look really, really cool with a shirt dress. Um, I think most dresses they're going to like really, really... You can wear... I, I mean, I wear these casually in the day with like trousers and a dress, but you could wear these on a night out too because you've got a bit of height to them and they are like quite different as well. Um, but yeah, so far, check trousers I've been loving with. Jeans, they're going to look so cool with. I'm actually going to be ordering some more jeans because... I'm a bit over all the ones that I've got. I'm going to be ordering those about next month. So um, I really want to get a pair of like straight leg jeans. Because I think these will look really cool with a straight leg. And also perhaps a pair of like not super skinny. But like a more tapered jean would look really good with these too. And they really look fantastic with shirt dresses. Like I could not wait for spring to finally kick in. Because I think these are really going to come into their own in spring and summer. They're great for winter too though. Because they do keep your foot warm. I mean none of your foot's on show. They come up quite high. Just above your ankle which I really like too you can get them cut slightly lower if you wanted on the website they do do a slightly lower version but I got the high top version which I think is going to be way more versatile throughout the year I've already been wearing these in the cold weather and they've been absolutely fine and also if it starts raining you've got like a good gap between you and the puddles so that's pretty good too um obviously care wise they're really easy to wipe it, wipe off because um, the nap is like patent so you can just wipe anything off it if you've got anything on them you do have to be a bit careful about the wood I think that's the only thing you really have to worry about because the same with the rubber that's not going to be a problem and um, I just think the wood might stain if you wear them in the rain and um, so I'll be careful of doing that but on the bottom they've got like this uh, zigzag I mean if I show you that way you can see it's all zigzagged cut out comfort wise they are super super comfortable i mean really it's like you're wearing a pair of flats because your foot is actually flat in the shoe it doesn't feel like you're wearing a pair of heels although these are like a good three inches off the floor the only thing to be careful about is obviously sometimes because it feels like you're wearing a flat shoe and you're not sometimes walking up and down stairs or going down a step you hit the floor quicker than you think you're going to because it feels like you're wearing a flat shoe but obviously you have got like a three inch platform but otherwise they're super super comfortable haven't had any problems walking in them i can walk pretty far in these and yeah they're really really great um on the inside it's just the like other side of the napper and there's not like padding in there but there's like a good like bottom sole in there which is really really nice so yeah comfort wise absolutely great on the front um you've got like a tongue um as you would for like a sort of sneaker and they do lace up and then i love this like squared off toe i think that just adds another little 
um, difference to them because most brogues have like an almond shaped toe or even squared off but not quite um, this abruptly so I think that's really cool too so yes I think that's everything oh size these are European 35 which in the UK equates to a size 3 now I am normally a size 4 and these fit me just about fine and they're ever ever so slightly touching my toe when I walk in them but when I stand in them they're not so I think that's quite interesting because when I saw they were a 35 I was like oh there's no point because they're not going to fit me because I'm normally a size 4 um, and these are obviously a size 3 in UK sizes but when I tried them on they were actually completely fine my toe just touches the end when I walk but it's nothing that's uncomfortable um really doesn't bother me my toes touch the end in most of my shoes anyway um but I've got like a gap when I'm standing so it's completely fine so I think that's quite interesting because that's literally like a whole size smaller than what I normally am and obviously a size three is really really tiny so um Again, I mean, I've got small feet anyway because I'm size four, but it's just quite take that into account that you might have to go down a full size, at least a half size. If these were a three and a half, I think I'd be absolutely fine. I actually don't think they would fit me if they were a four. So do keep that in mind if you're going to buy these because I think you might need to go at least a half size down, if not a whole size. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do go check out TK Maxx if you've got one near you because you can find some gems in there for a really, really good price. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. Do go follow me on my Instagram. I'm always posting stuff on there. Go follow me on Twitter if you need any links to any of my other social medias and I'm always chatting about stuff on there too. And of course, go check out my blog, rayofstyle.co.uk. Everything will be in the description box below. And do leave a comment on what you think of the shoes. I'll see you in the next video guys please subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye